So have you always lived here in Liberty County? No. And um, since you haven't always lived here, how did you get here? Uh, military when mm -hmm. I was uh, six. So and then I uh, left again and came back in my early 30s maybe mm -hmm. so uh, and I've been back here ever since so um, we're a pretty transient community yes. and that's a pretty typical answer that we get from some folks so uh, not surprised at all that the military brings people <laughs> to Hinesville so um, can you tell me a little bit more about what kind of home you live in right now uh, pretty standard, one story, uh, three bedroom, two bath. I think it's under 1,700 square feet. We can never remember. It's the smallest house in the neighborhood. So <laughs> garage, unheated, un you know. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Gotcha. So um, do you have rooftop solar? We do not. At your home. And so um, why don't you have rooftop solar? Did you make that decision or was it made for you? Well, when I married my husband, the house was the house right. was already built. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I don't even think it was brought up as an option for him when he right. was having it built, uh, and it wasn't a huge, I guess, push in the area ten years ago. So, if you had that option, would you put <coughs> on your home? Why? Funnily enough, we just had this discussion with a friend of ours the other night, and no, we would not mm -hmm. because the expense, and by the time it pays. You've paid for it. Um, it odds are you're, we're not going to be in the house anymore. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm so sorry. You're fine. You're and fine. of course, um, and my husband's uh, mom in, lives in England. They had um, the panel attached to or um, attached to their house. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm you're so fine. sorry, I'm Casey. Sorry. It's okay. And y'all, um, and uh, the power company actually pays them. So, uh, they buy the excess energy. Off of them. And they don't do that here. And they have just the one panel is up on, or like a grid or whatever? Or it's some sort of box thing. Um, it's attached to the side of the house. Yeah, and there's, the panels are up at the roof. Excuse me. It's a really, you know, it's a, it's a two-story. Is that pretty typical over there, or is it just? Uh, I think they did, it had gotten, it has become more popular. Mm -hmm. So... <coughs> but it helped. Um, I, they the, the the power companies came to them for it. Mm -hmm. cool. So well, um, I that's kind of the first part of the questions. And the second part here kind of deals with um, two different maps. So the first map that I'm going to share with you um, <coughs> is a map. <coughs> Of the United States. This is, are you good? Yeah, I know. It's like all of a sudden I've been yeah, fine. Like, right. yeah, do you mind some water or yeah. something? All right. You like to go here. All right. So um, here's a map of the United States. And um, we're going to talk about rooftop solar uh -huh. adoption in general. So where do you think people have the most rooftop solar energy on their homes? Could you draw that on the map? Um, I would actually... Say, oh, was I supposed to draw it? Yeah, I, okay. no, you were exactly supposed to draw it. So, okay. you know, that's perfect. Um, and I don't know the answer, so this is not a quiz by any means. Um, but what, so obviously it looks like you did not circle Georgia or our area. Right. Um, so what do you think makes that community that you ended marked on the map so different from people here in Georgia and in Liberty County? Well, I, I marked two, Alaska and California. Mm -hmm. uh, Alaska because they are, you know, they have to conserve so much, and you've got your six months sun and six months uh, no sun, so I would think it would make more sense to have it out there. And then, you know, California, they're, you know, all about, um, I don't want to be, you know, ugly or anything, but... Uh, they uh, they they tend to be a little more progressive. Mm -hmm. How's that? Yes. So uh, and so that's it. Just seems to me that's how it would be. Gotcha. Although it would make sense too in the plains because it's flat, so it would be easier to harness. Like I said, I don't know the right answer. But I don't so know. it's more. It's just, <laughs> we're asking you know your mm -hmm. perception on things. So 
Um, that was the map of the U.S., and then here's a map of Georgia. Okay. And so it's going to be that same question, just looking at it on a state level. Uh, in what community in Georgia do you think people have the most rooftop solar on their homes? You know what? I don't even... I really don't know. I, I would... Probably, I would venture that it's probably this region because it tends to be a little flatter, mm -hmm. which I don't know why I'm thinking flat has to be. And then maybe because of the solar farm on Fort Stewart. Mm -hmm. But um, so I would say the southeast. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. And so uh, similar to the question I asked before, um, but since you did choose our community, why do you think people... Um, in the Liberty County area, have solar rooftop. Why would that be? Because we've cut all of our trees <laughs> down to make room for new development. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's lesser interference. Mm -hmm. uh, it would just seem logical to me. Uh, yeah. And because there's a lot of new build. Right. So, um, however, that being said, because there's new build, you would think that they would have them as a mandatory uh, option on a new build, mm -hmm. so, but they don't. So, um, most of your close friends here in Georgia, like, do they have solar on their mm, Not that I'm aware of. And why do you think they don't? I would say the same thing, moving into existing houses and then the expense uh, versus the long-term benefit. I understand.